I gotta go down here for the switch. Okay. Whoa! Fast. Today's episode is made possible through the support of Gina Higdon and dozens of other people just like you. If you like what I do, if you're interested in these videos and you want to help support them, check out the links below in the description, get in the Discord and the Patreon, and see how you can help make a difference. Thanks! Hi there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. We're here in the shop with Mr. Kidwell, where we get to do some legit science. Really? We do a lot of engineering. Yes. This is like science! Mm -hmm. And a little engineering. Mainly science though. We're doing physics. Okay. Which is like the, the for real science. Mm -hmm. So, I did a video the other day where we took an altimeter apart. Right. Great autopsy. Okay. Super cool. In fact, well, it isn't just that we got parts, it's that it just, it, it came out cool. Okay, okay. That's, the, that's the altimeter. Parts. So here's the thing. If you watch the video, you'll note that I'm wrong. You're wrong. As happens. So the altimeter, I said that this little hole went into here and that allowed it to expand and contract and that this was plumbed outside the case. No. That's completely wrong. This is sealed. Right. And this out here, this environment is plumbed to the outside of the case. And you can tell because I happen to have under glass, we prepared this one in advance, like a cooking show. Yeah. I have another altimeter, mm -hmm. which is similar enough to the one I had. Yeah, and you can see, thing. and you couldn't see this when, like when I was shooting the video, I couldn't see it. But if you look, once you, once you realize, if you look in here, you can see that's a screen. It isn't that there's an orifice. That is, the whole thing is the orifice. It's just yes. a big screen over it. The case but, is sealed, and that gets plumbed to the outside. I talked about an idea in that video, and I never got to do it. And now you're here, so we'll get to do it. Cool. Altimeter, All which right. is zero, right? We're, well, we're reasonably zero. Okay? Should we're, set it for what our local... Uh, if I did that, this would show a, a height. It'd say yeah. that we're like 600 feet in the air or something. Yeah. So, I'm going to put this in the vacuum chamber, and this is... The highest quality Gualong Ding Dong cheap ass Chinese vacuum chamber money can buy. This is this is real quality. This is such quality that I'm putting on safety shades. Okay. I do not trust this this chamber. That's it's it's glass. But so stay stay facing the chamber so that everything comes in. The yes, lenses, yes. You want to be you want to be right down there. The All right. But what I want to do is hook the vacuum chamber up. Now. If I'm correct, I usually am. When we turn the vacuum pump on, that's going to start saying it's higher. It's going to start climbing. Should because yes. as as height goes up, air pressure goes down. That's so how it works. That yes. was that was the whole point of this. I just want let's let's put an altimeter in a vacuum chamber and see what happens. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to say it goes up. I know for a fact it's going to. Go okay, up. you ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. I gotta go down here for the switch. Okay. Whoa! Fast! I was not expecting it to go that fast. I kinda was. Wow! Where are we at now? Is that 500 or 5,000 feet? Oh, we went, we went around a lot. Um, we're at uh, 7 now. That's... Thousands and then hundreds? No. Hundreds? Thousands, ten thousands. So it's not that we're at five thousand feet, it says we're at fifty thousand feet. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Alright, let's come back to Earth. That is super cool. That should leak out pretty there easy. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay, the little the little arrow around yeah, the outside that's, edge that's, is 10,000. Yeah, it messed me up, too, because I'd never, I'd never seen an altimeter go up high enough to use all three, all three needles. <laughs> I didn't know it did the white thing until just now, either. That is super cool. Now, I gotta think the air is coming back in at a consistent rate and that bumping in the needle is that they're nowhere ever expected to drop at that rate so we're coming into some damping in the thing itself.
you had a little glitchy there. That's yeah, okay. So we got to go all the way around one more time. And I don't know what this over on the side is. What, the hash marks? The, the hash marks right there. I don't know what those mean. But I have an idea, now that we, we know that works, how do we make this look even cooler? I don't know how. I'm going to put the naked one in there, oh, so and we'll get to see, see all the it. stuff do science. Yes. Okay, I just I got to wait for that to come down. Because I can't, I can't take yeah, the top still off. At yeah. We're we're still at five thousand feet. Oh. What? Keep an eye on that. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. So wouldn't it be cool, because people watching this, and somebody can post this and they did the math, could compute how fast we're descending at this moment, right? Oh, you got a rate of climb? I have a rate of climb indicator. Does it work under... Works on air. Works on air. So I'm going to, we'll stick that in there too. We'll, we'll put them in together. That'll be interesting. Yeah. See, we're slowing down because we're clearly on our final approach. The hash mark on the left has to be some sort of indication that you're under some altitude, so watch out for the ground. I think you're right because I, there's a lot more of it now. Mm -hmm. So we're at 100 feet off the ground, and I think we... Yeah, we're there. All right, so I'm going to set, and that the rest is just, you're, you're dead. Okay, so I'm going to put this in there. Now this is our, our climb indicator. And I'm not gonna put the dial side front. I'm just gonna put this in here sideways. Is it gonna sit? That's gonna move and it might shift while you're in there. And yeah, that's your, your action is gonna be happening there. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have a solution for this. Got a little piece of foam? Nah, blue tech. Blue tech, okay. In my adhesives drawer, I keep this Loctite Fun Tack. Sticky Tack, yeah. Yeah. Po posters and stuff like that. Don't use this for posters. I use this for taking pictures of things. Oh, yeah. It's, it's how, uh, when I did uh, the micro photography of the, um, the 3D printer nozzle, you don't see it in the shot, but it's actually held in place with a piece of blue tack. Have you ever put blue tack under vacuum before? No. Do you know something I don't know? I'm just wondering how many, how much air bubbles. It's gonna be fine <laughs> until it falls off, scratches the inside of the thing, and implodes the chamber. Oh, did you see that? I saw that. Yes. That was cool. Okay. Are you ready to science this shit? I say you peg that needle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that the cool thing is gonna be up here. And I'm gonna. Yeah. That's gonna move a lot. That's going to move a whole lot. I'm go it's going to move enough that I'm going to adjust this camera up a little bit. Yeah, there you go. For safety. Okay. You guys ready? Let's Fire science this shit. Fire one ready, really? <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, we instantly packed it. And that, you can see it just... And it like slammed right up into it. Yep. So we don't get to see a lot on the climb indicator at all. That just pegged right out. I may have to slow that down to see what happened there. Now you eventually stabilized out. The Loctite? What happened to the Loctite? It is? Yeah. I would imagine. I hadn't noticed. You keep an eye on that. Alright, I'm going to turn the pump wait, off. Wait, 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 wait. What? Is there more? I would expect the rate of climb to start dropping off as you get to the maximum vacuum that the pump will do. You're right, and there it is. Alright, so we're... We have reached a stable altitude. 
Okay, that's as much vacuum as we have. Pump off. Wow, that dropped fast. So the rate of climb indicator is even more sensitive than the altimeter. Yes. Which is cool. The rate of climb just dropped. Hey, it's changing. Things are happening. Science in action. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Like in an absolute nerd way. This is pretty cool. Hey, you have a thermometer. Ooh. Do you have a thermometer? It doesn't go up very high though. No, and that's kind of a well, crappy thermometer. We'd be expecting it to drop low, not go high. Yeah, but not by a lot. Low either. <laughs> well, negative 40. Not the big one, the little one. Oh, I'm looking at the dial one, you know? It'll fit. Both of them would fit. I would expect the dial one to respond quicker. Really? Well, I don't know. So the rate of climb is down to about, what, 600 feet a minute? Something like that. I believe that would be called a dive. Hmm. Oh, we're flaring. <laughs> <laughs> it won't. Oh, it will. We're there. We're there. I'm gonna pop that a little bit to get the... Yeah, we broke it. We pegged it out hard. Yeah. Yeah, a little too hard on that one. Sure you're right, mate. You know, it's, it wasn't designed to ride right. on a Falcon 9. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is from August 9th, 1966. <laughs> Just a little dated. Yeah. And uh, so that, that one's got some, think, some think, age to it. That's going to be an autopsy. Yeah, I'm taking we, that I apart. I think we just killed it. Oh, yeah. I'm... I, Whoever gave it to me killed it the moment they put it in my hand. Well, there is that. Like, it was it was condemned to die at that moment. All right, so we did it. We did some science there, and that was cool. Yeah, that gear is gonna move. Oh, you want to see the gear move? I'll, I'm gonna have to B-roll that. I can't. Yeah, we're not gonna catch you, it on you, you with this. Be, There's so much glare and that brass piece is only gonna move that much for the full travel. So you're not gonna. You really it. should watch the altimeter autopsy video. Okay. The sexiest shot you have ever seen. Okay, I want you to remember standing here at this moment. See the round gear? Yeah. And see the arc gear? Yeah. Now watch the relationship. Yeah, know, you want to look I'm, right I'm, there. I'm fully aware. Okay. Yeah. Looking right there at that spot, mm -hmm. that's the shot in the altimeter autopsy video. Okay, so you got the curve of the Took arc. me an hour. What, to get the lighting right? To get the shot right. It took, oh, I did, oh my god. And, and I, I didn't have the vacuum chamber, which would have been way too fast. And that's what got me to this. So I'm getting that shot, and I've got this all like on a vice. There's a picture on my Facebook, but I've got this all like I've got this in the Panavice, and I got the big Alpha camera right here, and it's all like lit with that. And I got a whole thing going on. So how do you get that to move slow, slow. and repeatable on camera? I have no idea. What'd you do? I'll show you. Ta-da! Ta-da! That's how I did it. You cool the chamber. Yes. And that, it was, once I figured out that this was sealed, mm -hmm. then I figured out that I could cool it. So to make it move, watch watch the gear. Here's the secret behind, and there's actually a shot, I did a behind the scenes. But if you just freeze this. Oh, there you go. And then you can see the gears move. And then it heats back up a second later, and you get this nice 
slow shot as it goes back. And it doesn't look like much here, but when you're looking at that at massive amounts of magnification, it's super sexy. Because I did it. Now you've seen you've seen camera lenses before, sure. right? Okay. This one doesn't go that way. This one goes this way, and that's the objective lens. Oh, lovely. Yeah. The crappiest super, super macro. macro. This is this is from Zongi. Okay. But quality name. Oh though. yeah, but that's the that's your camera end. Lovely. So it goes on looking like a backwards lens. It's really weird, but that's. So all kinds of stuff. I'm getting into the micro stuff. We're getting better B-roll. It's cool. But today we showed an altimeter under glass. Yes. So that was cool. So thank you for hanging out and getting to do some fun science with Mr. Kidwell and me. <laughs> you guys have fun. Check out the links below in the description. You can get into the Discord and you're invited. This is a online community for... If you've watched this whole video, if you're still here at this point... You're a nerd. Accept that as fact. You're a nerd. You're one of us. Come, let's explore stuff and hang out and do cool nerd stuff together. I got a huge Discord community full of guys just like you. And you are absolutely invited to come hang out and explore and get in on video ideas. And several of them are hanging out live right now during this video shoot in the Discord. So you are absolutely invited. You guys have fun. That's all we got for today, I think. Cool. We'll see you next time. Mr. Kidwell has cankles. Do, 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 do. It's the most thrilling video we've ever made! Big boom!